Guess what, guys? I have a box. What do you think that means? That's right. We're going to about to unbox something. I think we should roll that unboxing tape. Now on to the fun part, of course, unboxing. And I, you know, listen, I've told you guys I have a lot of dream animals. And it seems like every time I get a shipment, I have something that I say is a dream animal. But I've actually said this particular one in the vlog several times. And oh my gosh, is it, ah, it is so absolutely adorable and so cute. Here it is, guys. Remember when I was back in Arizona, I actually said this about these animals. Remember, guys, when I said I wanted to do chuckawallas? This is what I was talking about right here. Take a look at how cool those lizards are. I mean, wow, that's just so cool. You wanna take one out? Yeah, could we? So again, guys, remember when I was talking about wanting to get Chuck Wallace? This is what I was actually talking about. I mean, look at how cool these things are. I mean, they are just so, they're just such interesting desert animals. I think a really cool desert display can be really cool. And you can keep these guys communally as well, which makes it really cool. And look at how chill they are. And that's right. I said I wanted to get little Chuck Wallace. And actually, someone reached out to me and said that they wanted to donate one to the zoo. By the way, Thank you so much for this. This is absolutely wonderful. And I really didn't know the size of it or anything like that, but this thing is absolutely adorable. It's just a little tiny one. Now these guys, depending on where they're from, can be anywhere from 15 inches up to 30 inches as an adult. Absolutely amazing. Of course, they're desert dwelling from the southwest part of the United States. And they're absolutely gorgeous. The thing I love about them is they're typically very docile. Just like, look at this thing. It's just, just hanging out like nothing, like no big deal. And that's typically the way they are when they're adult as well, which makes them a great animal for the Reptarium. Now, I only have one so far, so I definitely need more. If anyone knows where some more are about this size, please let me know, because I need to get a group of them. They will live in a kind of hierarchy type of a community, right? Now, males will get a little larger than females, and they're typically more brightly colored than females as well. And actually, the largest male usually is dominant over the smaller males. How freaking awesome is that? They'll live in groups, and that's what I'm saying. If I had a cage, like maybe even a big cage, a six foot plus cage that had maybe a half a dozen of these in there. Oh my gosh, would that be absolutely incredible. For now, we just have one. We're gonna have Jessica set up a temporary cage for now, and we're gonna put it in a permanent cage here in the next couple days, figuring out where everything is. We've got a lot of changes coming here to the Reptarium, and of course, the expansion coming up, but these guys are incredible. They need about a 100 to 105 degree basking spot with maybe like a low 80s kind of cool side. So they're really kind of much like a bearded dragon when it comes to that, right? But look at how cool that little face is and how chubby they are. When they get big, they are so chubby and so cool so again guys check off one more animal off my dream list this is definitely one of them i am so pumped right now you cannot believe it like i said now i just need some more of them because one is awesome but six would be a lot cooler right how cool is that let's go get jessica let's set up a temporary case so we get this little monkey put away and then he or she i'm not sure what it is yet will go into a permanent cage and people can actually start interacting with it kids here at the reptarium are gonna love this guy got this little chuck walla today and i'm gonna set up this little cage for her. these guys are really cool though they're from the southwestern U.S. and northern Mexico. Uh, this will get about two feet long, probably. This one's still a baby, obviously. Yeah, so let's uh, get this cage together. And as always, Jessica did a great job of setting up a kind of temporary housing. You can see it has a nice little brick area here that can warm up under the light. It's got a hiding spot here. Of course, it's got some food right here. It's got water. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. I noticed that she actually used some of the hemp bedding that my buddy sent me. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I wonder if Jessica's going to want to use that in the permanent cage too. That'll be pretty interesting. But you can see he's going to love this rock. And he's got a little place to hide right here. This is going to be perfect because, again, they're from the desert area, the southwest. So they're definitely going to have terrain just like this. Lots of climbing area. You can get close to that basking light if he wants. Get on that hot rock if he wants. He's got food, water, all the types of things that he's going to want. So this is going to be a great temporary kind of housing just for the next two or three days. Then we'll set him up into something permanent and then hopefully get a group of these guys. I tell you what, I am like a kid at a candy store. This is like Christmas for me. I am so excited. I finally have a Chuck Walla. And by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Guess what, guys? Lucy shed and there is a ton of poop soup. But unfortunately, I have an appointment. I've got to get out of here. So, so I am going to entrust Mike and Jay to see if they can actually clean that up. I'll be honest with you. I'm happy that I'm getting out of it because I know that's going to stink really bad. 
I guess we gotta clean Lucy. I guess we gotta do it. Is that the right key? I don't know, I just picked a random key. Oh my god! No, you don't hook her up like that, bro. She's too big. Wait, she's coming out. Let's just get her out. Oh my god, Michael. Oh! No, 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 not now. Hold on, she's coming out. She's coming out. Let her go in the water. No. There you go. Good job, Mike. Okay, pass her back. Pass her back. Yep. Oh god, what are you Your dad's not here, but it's okay. Put your head in the water. Let's do it. You got the garbage bag? What am I supposed to puke in? I'm getting it. I'm getting the toothpaste. Dude, with your hands? <laughs> Pick up the shed, Mike! Oh. Is that the biggest level of my hands? Yeah, yeah. With my hands? Is that how Brian does it? Yeah, dude, it's gross. Baby, just do it. Ew, why are you using your hands, bro? I thought I was supposed to. <laughs> Don't touch your face, you just had a urinate on there. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Yeah, you gotta get the juicy food. Oh, that's so gross. Don't start making that noise. You throw it. Stop it. Oh my god, it's on my finger. <laughs> oh, I can't. Don't trip over the bag. Hello? Hey, what's going on? How are you? We took Lucy out of her cage. Uh-huh. What do we do now? We want to take the strainer and strain all the poop out of the, 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 the tub. It's going to smell. Wait, you mean with the with that silver thing? Yeah, with the silver thing. Oh, yes, good. All the big pieces of poop out. Well, we'll just wait on you. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> no, but just strain out and then take the Pondo back and suck it out and then disinfect it really good. Scrub it. Disinfect water. Pondo back. Pondo back. Pondo back. And then fill it up. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. My dad sent me to supervise these fools with Lucy. It's a small, frail thing. Did you just chuck <laughs> shit on me, dude? Mike must have worked at a massage parlor. He's got the touch. Oh. You just let Lucy go into the tortoise pen. This is why I have to supervise. Whoa, 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 no, I'm just a small man. Where'd go? It's a very small. Look, she's wagging her tail. She's happy. Look at how happy she is. <laughs> My DoorDash is finally here. And that's why I need to supervise these children. The truth is, there's not a day that goes by that I am not constantly thinking about what else I can add to the Reptarium for experiences. That's all I keep thinking about is what experiences can I add that people can come in and just absolutely have amazing opportunities to mess with these animals. And that Chuck Walla is pretty darn cool. And don't get me wrong, you know, when I'm adding something amazing like Drogo the Slime, there. Part of it is just because I want it, because it's amazing to own a sloth or whatever animal it is. But I also think about experiences. I think about people being able to come in and get up and close and personal with Drogo the sloth or whatever the animal is, or otters in the future, or stingrays or whatever the case is. I just get excited about that. So it's a dual thing, right? I get to get an animal that I have never worked with or I want to work with, but I also get to share it. And that makes it more special to me by about a level of 10. So we got Beetlejuice and he's up at front of the cage. So we figured we might as well handle him. I've never actually grabbed him, but I think this is as good as a chance I'm ever gonna get. All right, so I got him out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's choking, he's running fast. I gotta just try to calm him. Ow, I got tail whipped in the face! Oh, okay. All right, I am completely and utterly tore up right now. And usually, at this point, I'm like, hey, Dad, can you help me out? I'm gonna try and get to some open space. Do a spin move. That did nothing. Whoa! It did something! Ah, ah, ah. He is tearing me up. These guys like to be high. I'm gonna try this. It seems to be working. It does seem to be working. He has chilled out when I put him up in the air, so my dad's not lying to you. Damn, your hands are messed up. Man. Whoa, whoa! Not bad. You're doing really good, Beetlejuice. I'm actually, I'm impressed. And now that he is finally calm, come on, stay calm, buddy. Stay calm. And a nice, Slow sabbatical release. Since I got cut up from Beetlejuice, we have to take the trusty old hand sanitizer. Just give it a nice little dousing. Oh! Just gotta make sure we don't get infections. 
That's right, the Euromastics and the Chuck Wallers seem a lot alike, right? But of course, these come from completely different areas. These guys come from the Middle Eastern area and sometimes the Northeast part of Africa, whereas the Chuck Wallers, again, come from the Southwest part of this country. So completely different animals, but very similar, almost like a parallel evolution. Have you ever just laid with her? Yes, I have, actually. She's great, isn't she? Yeah. You can feel her breathe. Look, just come in your kiss. No, don't run me over because you're scared. It's okay. You think she bite my face? 100%. Oh, really? No, I don't know. I'll put my nose on hers. Wow. Oh, my God. Our guy Tabasco needs his nails done, so I grabbed Misty Mike here, and we're uh, we're going to do some nail trips. Get in there, Mike. Grab him by the base of the tail. Wow. He's getting so good. Wow. That was actually really impressive. All right, are you ready? Whoa. Mike, man, we've been in some pretty shady positions together, and I feel like this is one of them. Just let him go. Just let him go. I don't. I mean, I don't necessarily want to offer myself. Oh God, that hurts so bad. This is why we need to trim his nails. Oh, that was almost your face. Wow, dude, look at all that blood. I know. Let's just trim his nails real quick. Have you seen saw? Yeah, my hand looks like when the chick got cut by the saw. I would have laughed so hard if you would have grabbed his nose. It actually would have hurt really bad. Yeah, it would have. It's actually doing better than most dogs right now. Next one is sriracha. Yo, yeah. you know, the next thing is for you to go wash your hands and put band-aids all over everything. That's maybe a good idea. It's always nice to end my day with my girl Ivy here. I mean, she is absolutely amazing, getting bigger and bigger every single day. And I wonder, let me know down in the comments what you think another animal you would like to see us add to the Reptarium when we expand now, when we go to the aquarium stuff. What is it that you're excited about? I really would like to know. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist of us building the Reptarium you guys can look through. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.